In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a really, really good passing play out of the strong close in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel is entirely focused and centered around helping you get better at Madden 21. We do that through offensive and defensive and user and tactical daily tips and tricks videos right here on my YouTube channel. And so if that's something that interests you, if you want to get better at this game uh, and you want to get the latest tips, strategies, and ebooks whenever they come out, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And if you have any Madden questions whatsoever, you can always text me and ask me those questions. My number is 812-216-3644. Now guys, um, in today's video, one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to do a little bit of a deep dive on a formation that's been popping up a lot lately, In at least I've been facing it a lot, and that is the strong close. And I wanted to kind of show you this little route that it has in it that is really, really good. And this play right here is uh, double post. Now the cool part about strong close is it has a lot of different routes and route combinations that you can use and the passing from strong close is actually really really good um, and what's nice about it is it's also a really good under center running formation as well as it has the same personnel um, as I form close or uh, single back you, you know you can make it into the same personnel as single back wing flex close so if you want to be a run base player this now gives you a really nice passing formation that can complement your running formations right and uh, this can be applied to several different strong closes in the game. In my opinion, uh, the Raiders strong close is really good. The 49ers strong close is excellent. Might be the best strong close in the game. Um, and then there's some other good ones as well. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. So we're going to talk about double posts today. And um, just because I wanted to really show you the routes, I'm going to go ahead and come out in a dollar set. Now, obviously, if somebody ever came out in dollar against you, you would just run the ball on them, you know, until the cows came home. But what I, I just wanted to show you the routes of this and, and show you how this can really help you break down a lot of defensive coverage that you're probably going to face. So we're just going to come out in this right here. Now, as a general rule, you would want to run this setup or this play that I'm about to give you to the right hash mark. You you would want to run it to the um, you would want to run it to the right hash mark so that when you basically motion the receiver over, he's going to be on the wide side of the field. It's going to give him a lot of room to work. Now, one of people's favorite tactics this year um, is to basically run a cover three Mabel coverage with deep flats, or I'm sorry, deep um, deep half zones on their um, outside safeties because that's going to help them with any cover three bombs. They're not going to get bombed over the top. And those corners are going to kind of drift into the middle of the field. Well, what you can do with this play is, especially if you have a tight end apprentice, in my opinion, you know, this formation is really, really, really powerful if you have a, a, a tight end apprentice. And all we're going to do with this is we're going to take Mike Evans, we're going to put him on a slant, we're going to take Gronkowski, and we're going to put him on a little post route. And then what I like to do is take the back and put him on a block and release pattern. As you see here, he's going to jet to the left side. If he's going to basically sit, if nobody's blitzing, he's going to release to the flat on the left side. And then we're just going to motion uh, Chris Godwin to the left side of the formation and snap the ball kind of right in this little pocket right here. And what you'll see is these deep half zones really aren't going to guard him. You're going to be able to pass lead that. Um, you're going to be able to pass lead that to the outside on the left side uh, relatively easily. And what you can also do is you can basically kind of run this play off if you want to as well. Um, you know, and I think it's really important to have these little flats um, from strong close because you will see uh, a lot of people run some type of pressure look at you. Uh, they'll run some type of blitz. But what you'll notice is when you have these com this little combination right here, even if you take Mike Evans and put him on a, a smart route, a hitch route or something, um, he's going to kind of hold these deep zones and you're going to be able to hit this route to Chris Godwin pretty much at will, at, at, at will uh, against the cover fours, against anything really, um, specifically this cover three deep half. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So basically what Mike Evans is going to do, and you can honestly just leave him on this post route if you wanted to, um, but he's going to basically, his job is to pull the deep half zones with him. So you see here these little crossers that you'll get in action. 
Now you see on this left side, I can again pass lead that out. I don't know why Godwin's not catching it, but you can get this outside pass lead um, to him on this little double post, especially if you, um, especially if you snap the ball while he's in motion. I really like to do, uh, really like, you know, basically, you know, you can basically turn this into, you know, essentially a flood concept as well, but just something quick to the left side, and you'll see here, you see how much space this provides you. Uh, from this formation and again i don't know why god wants not catching it um but but what you can do with this like i said you could take mike evans you could run him on all sorts of different things you can run him on a slant you could run him on a um a deep post you know a deep streak you know it doesn't really matter what you do with him there's a lot of different advantageous things that you can do i would definitely recommend taking your tight end and putting him on a post um if you're and then you know essentially you could essentially not even have to block your you know if you I just recommend blocking at least somebody when you're when you're passing out of this formation, just because the sheds are a little bit better from under center than they are from than they are from the from the uh, the shotgun, in my opinion. One thing we'll try real quick with the receiver is just basically when you when you throw this to him, if you just click on to the receiver, you should be able to make the catch just fine. Um, and again, I almost like double block and release. Like I just like to make sure I have good protection when I'm in under center. But right here, again, click on. And somehow he magically caught that one. He wasn't catching the rest of them. Um, but you're going to be able to use this this inside post play uh, that way. Now, obviously, there's several other ways that you can do this. Uh, one of my favorite things that you could also do with this little play right here is you can motion Godwin to the left. Most people think you're going to snap the ball right here, right? And then essentially what you could do is you could motion him back to the left side and put your tight end on a crossing route. Or something simple like this and now what you'll see is you have this inside post to the left side which he he's going to help you break down his own coverage as well but as you can see you got that nice tight end crossing route that's going to clear real relatively easily against that um, that zone coverage another thing you could do is let's say that you had um, again let's say you have that tight end apprentice this this little combo right here is so good this little inside post uh, with that backside slant and you'll notice that this little post right there see how it torches the coverage um, it just does a good job at getting um, getting open against zone now how does this fare against man-to-man -man? well the first thing I want to do is I want to show you Chris Godwin's route against man-to-man -man, uh, with this little motion out and again you want to snap him kind of right in here so he gets that cut and what you'll see is he doesn't really beat man-to-man -man as well unfortunately um, whenever he goes to the left but um, the positive is if you know it's man-to-man -man or you see something like a man-to-man -man look then you can go to this man-to-man -man setup which is a simple you know you get your post you got your slant you know these cross these little post plays here are going to do a really good job Mike Evans will cut right inside and torch man-to-man -man coverage uh, relatively easily now you can kind of use your judgment with this play about whether or not you want to um, whether or not you want to put your tight end on a crosser um, or a post, um, you know, depending on your, you know, depending on your tight end, I think, honestly, because a tight end with better route running gets a little bit deeper of a crossing route. It's a little bit more effective. So if you're using the Chiefs, you'd probably recommend putting him on a crosser. If you're using the Pats, you might want him to be on a, a post route. But, you know, this is this is kind of one uh, set up one of this formation uh, for PA post. And again, another you can you can do so much with this offense. I mean, you could motion Godwin over here like this, and simply just kind of put him on a little little sit route right here, and that'll get under pretty much every zone in the game, um, as long as they're not you know obviously pushing their zones forward uh, from this. One other thing you could do really quick, I do want to show you one thing, and this is against cover four, um, cover four defense like with a little drop. And what you'll notice here is the outside quarter zone. Um, man, I'll tell you what, even little three down linemen rush, this thing is, the sheds are just insane um, in practice mode. But what you'll see on this, if I if I were to run this play, um, maybe against like a cover four drop and keep it just simple, but just motion mount, snap it here. What you'll see is that outside quarter will kind of take him as you can see right there. And so what that's going to do though for your offense is let's say you ran your your tight end on a 
a deep crossing route, right? And they were running cover four, and they were running some type of hard flat or some type of, you know, something like this right here. You could use this little route combination right here, and what you'll see is this tight end should get wide open. Now, I do want to give you one other little look at this uh, from one other lens, just so you can kind of be considering this um, as just different route combos for you to try uh, out of this formation. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the left side guy, we're going to put him on a hitch and smart route. We're going to take the tight end, we're going to put him on a crossing route. Um, the backs, I just like to block and release them most of the time. One thing you could do is sneak that right side fullback out um, on a little streak route. But basically you're going to snap him in motion kind of right in this little pocket here. And what you'll notice is that outside quarter uh, is kind of just put in conflict. And as you can see, you can hit your crossing route. Um, so you just kind of flood the zones with this formation. We'll have some more stuff for you at a strong close. But this is one of my initial favorite plays uh, from this playbook. And again, what's nice about it is it's symmetrical. So you could run, for example, I could run that that post route to Godwin. I could run him on his route, and you'll see right here he's going to beat man-to-man. -man. So both of these post routes beat man-to-man -man coverage. One thing you might consider doing also, especially if you're facing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage, is take the tight end and put him on a post and you just have crossers for days so you could motion this out you know there's just a lot you could do with this to kind of help you um, ease the tide a little bit of man-to-man -man coverage one other thing real quick i wanted to show you um, is if i take godwin and put him on a corner route then i can basically have a little flood on this left side and what you'll see here is the corner route would basically clear on the left side against that coverage so there's just a lot you could do with these uh, I would encourage you to check check out these little inside posts uh, type of routes I think they do pretty well um, I think the motions that you can do from them are interesting like you could motion this out to the left here uh, and be be fairly productive for you against cover to man um, you know but inside posts is is all in all just a really solid little play from the strong close and i think there's just multiple ways you could set it up for example another thing that you could do from this is you could take godwin put him on a streak you know and then you could you know basically take your back put him on a little shoot flat route and this will give cover through some problems you'll notice um that post route if he keeps running sometimes he kind of stops um, but he does have a shot at, at beating that um, and another thing real quick you know, let's say they run some type of cover two defense on you uh, with this because they're tired of defending the underneath. If you're running this setup right here, this is going to kill uh, cover two defense. Once he gets off the side here to the left, click on, and you're going to be able to get over you know any zone that's going to give you any trouble. So that's a little bit of a mini uh, mini play uh, breakdown on the strong close. I think the strong close has a lot of potential. It's really really good because you can audible to multiple other running sets out of it with that same personnel grouping and um, you know obviously it does a good job like if you just wanted to you know just simply come down and check down and run the ball it, it's not terrible I mean I don't think the blocking is as good from strong close as it is from I form close so I think all in all you know with the quick flat games and the wheel routes and the things like that that you can do from it um, it could really put a defense in a bind and it does give you a little bit more balance on the offensive side of the ball. So uh, that's the strong close breakdown. We're going to have more tips for you throughout today. Um, our next tip video is going to be live at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And also, if you have not already yet, be sure to text me. My number is 812-216-3644. We have a one-hour breakdown on the ace slot offset in the New England Patriots offensive ebook that I would like to give you for free. All you got to do is just shoot me the text message, and um, that is kind of the offer we're giving our text message members. You guys can get a free sample formation, see the ebook a little bit, kind of see what you're getting yourselves into before you purchase it. So if you want to get that sample formation, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for your time, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video, and I hope it was helpful.